Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Moore and today I'm going to show you how to paint on a big piece of masonite. So this is the front side of the panel where I'll be painting on and as you can see I already started the line drawing. So after I paint on a masonite panel that's larger than around 20 by 24 inches, I like to put the bracing on the back of it so I can prevent the painting from getting damaged due to things like warping and cracking. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step process on how to create a panel brace. The materials used in this video are base night, wood glue, one by two inch poplar wood, clamps, and screws. Measure the exact size of the panel so you can accurately cut the pieces of wood. You can cut the wood on either a miter saw or any other preferred method. Lay the wood out on the panel to find the right configuration. Then make some marks on it to remember your layout. Pre-drill all the holes for the screws that will be connecting the wood pieces. Then install all the screws. I like to outline the wood brace so I know where the glue goes. Next we're going to apply the wood glue on the panel. Carefully lay the wood brace on the panel and apply the clamps. You can wipe away any excess glue with a damp paper towel to minimize cleanup of dried glue everywhere. Now let the glue dry for about 24 hours. Next we're going to get ready to apply the gesso, but first sand the front of the panel to increase surface area, and be sure to sand the edges and corners off as most masonite tends to have a slight lip around the edge. I always apply 10 layers of gesso, waiting at least 12 hours of drying time for each layer. I also like to alternate between horizontal and vertical brush strokes with each new layer. After applying all the layers, you can sand the gesso as smooth as you like. When you're done with that, dust it off and start a new painting. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more art videos. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And I'll be leaving a full list of the materials used in the description below. Thanks for watching.